Hello guys, uh, welcome to SimRush. SimRush is more or less like Uber suggests. As I said earlier, you don't need multiple keyword research tools. You just have to pick the one that you enjoy and stick um, with it. And um, like uh, Uber suggests, you can try to do keyword research. You can check for the URL, you can check the domain name or the keyword. Now, since I've already covered keyword research uh, basically in on the Uber suggest video, I'm going to do something and that's what we call it still keyword. So let's say I'm going to say for how to read SEO article. And then I'm going to pick the first article on Google here, and I'm going to copy their website URL immediately. And I'll come to SEMrush and I'll press e this and then I'll press enter. Now, what this is going to do is like it is going to look for the keywords in these posts. And that is more like a lazy man style of doing keyword research. So after it gives me the keyword, I can decide to use the keyword in my own article pretty simple right but it's not really my best style honestly because there are a lot of things that will not be right okay in the keyword that is going to give you okay like this is for example like it's going to give you words that are not really keywords and it will call it keyword for you and i'm sure you will not really really love that so but then if you probably looking for what the keywords are these are the behind the top organic keyword. Now, if you look at it, you can see that uh, many of those, okay, are SEO article, SEO article writing, how to write SEO content. And that's, I think that's the main thing that I search for. Yeah, that's the main thing, how to write SEO article. So, they call this kind of words synonyms because like how to write SEO article, how to write SEO content, SEO article writing, SEO articles, SA article, SA writing, how to write SA articles, and the like. So these are the keywords, okay, that is in this particular article. So you can just copy them, analyze the ones that you want, check, check the search volume. This is the search volume, okay, check the search volume, and, and that is that. Let me see if I can use another blog, how to, how to dance. If you are writing an article on how to dance, once you get an article on how to dance, you may probably, this is on Wiki Al. I'm going to copy it, and then I'll check their yeah, keywords. And the moment I'm done with this, I will go into real uh, proper keyword, like proper keyword, like proper keyword research. I'm not trying to step someone's keyword, but in this it's how to grind, how to dance, dance itself, how to do green day, study dancing, study dance. So these are basically keywords that this particular article is ranking for. So that was like, it is pretty not really necessary. Not a bad idea, but not the best. Okay, I once have an article like publish or punch. So I'm going to see if we can get the, if we can still some article, some keywords here and uh, So again, what I'm going to do is like, I'm trying to check for the keyword, but then this article does not have any keyword per se, per se, per se. Okay, at least Punch is not generating any traffic in this particular article, or at least yet to be discovered. Let me change location to Nigeria. So in that case, so you will probably, but anytime you see an article that is on Google front page, you may want to know what's, exactly is the keyword that people are using to search for this particular article. This has already been covered in the introductory part of the article of SEO content writing. So now I'm going to do search for a keyword here. I'll search for freelance. Let's say I want to write an article on how you can become a freelancer or how to make money in freelancing, for example. How to make money in finance, for example. I can't put my location in Nigeria. I will still change it to US. Okay. But then I okay, I can change this overview to move or maybe 
because like if you search something on your phone and you search for something on your laptop, at times the website that is on the front page are different. I will see how you can project that or you can just try it out. Okay, so let's say how to write article on freelance then, for example. These are keywords. You can see it here. Keywords. These are keyword variation. Now, what are the keywords that engineers are searching when it comes to freelancing? What is freelancing? Who is a freelancer? What is freelancing all about? What's the meaning of freelancer? How to become a freelancer? I'm going to click on view or 983 keywords. Okay, I will do that and then I can probably create about five articles out of this particular subject. What is freelancing? Freelancing, how to become a freelancer, how to be a freelancer, how to start freelancing, what are the pros and cons of freelancing, and the likes. Okay, so I, now you can create different uh, different keywords around the subjects. This is currently in Nigeria. I will change the location to USA too. So all you do is that you copy these keywords and you can also export them. This export, if you want to export it, maybe you want to download it so you can, you can send it down it as CSV SX SLSX and the likes. So I will most likely go for CSV and um, I will open it, then let it download. So maybe you probably just want to get your data and then you want to analyze it. You may even deliver it to clients. So this is it. So I will double click here. These are the keywords and it is the volume. So this number of search volumes per issue for each of this keyword. So what is freelancing? Who is a freelancer? Uh, what is freelancing all about? What's the meaning of freelancer? Now, if I'm if I'm probably decide to write an article, how to become a freelancer in Nigeria, and then doing the article, I'm going to put what is freelancing? Who is a freelancer? What's freelancing all about? What is the meaning of freelancer? So please, if People are searching for World Gondley on Google. It will still appears. Now, what are the pros and cons of freelancing, for example? At times, you may choose, again, you may... So, um, what are the pros and cons of freelancing? Okay, at times, you may choose, uh, again, you may choose to probably just write article on a single keyword trend. Okay, you don't have to say you want to pile all your keywords in a single article. That is not going to work. So that's why like in a single keyword, you may be able to create about five articles. Okay, you can see these are people that have already written an article on just that simple keyword. What are the pros and cons of freelancing? SEO is as simple as this. Okay, so let's see another one. What does freelance mean? How to start freelancing? You can create an article on this. Now, I'm going to do something, actually. I would search for another keyword. I'll search for Upwork. You remember we talked about long term and short term keyword. Upwork is a short take keyword. Freelancing is a short take keyword. How to write upwork proposal. These are some of the things that people are searching. Okay, like for example, now you see that keyword I entered is upwork, but then you cannot just assume, you know what people are searching, but then what people are searching mostly in Nigeria at the moment is how to write upwork proposal. Now I'm going to copy this particular text. How to start writing upwork proposal. and see article that I came up with. These are keywords, these are articles. One is on medium, one is on career, desk, and the like. Now, if I probably want to tailor it to Nigeria, let's say, let's say, I'll select a proposal in Nigeria. We all do group research, we search through different methods. Now, this is a work article, this article on airline, this article on career. This is Okay, there's an article. Now, the main text of this article says how to make money on Upwork. Now, something really funny about short-term keyword is like, you're searching for Upwork, 
insert will most likely rank higher than it is ranking for the subject of actual rights or proposal. So if it's okay, it is not on the front page. So you just have to know what exactly you want to rank for, know the kind of keyword research that you want to do. And as I said earlier, ranking, okay. On Upwork, okay. A ranking, sorry, on desktop is different from ranking on mobile. What makes the difference? Some websites are more optimized for such for desktop, while some websites are more optimized for mobile. So websites are faster on desktop, some websites are slow, and all those kind of reasons. So it depends on your metrics, like what exactly is the goal. Your clients, you need to think like your clients or speak with your clients. Now I'm going to change location to US. That is the best thing to use. I even mostly use anything I'm doing something related to United States, I prefer to use Simrush. But trust me, all these tools are the same thing. So don't overwhelm yourself. They're basically just generating what people are searching for on search engine. So now in the United States, people are searching what's Upwork. But when it was in Nigeria, what were people searching for? I hope you don't forget. People were searching for how to get Upwork proposal. So Nigerians probably are more familiar to with Upwork and just concerned on how to get Upwork proposal. How does Upwork work? What does short list mean in Upwork? How to delete Upwork account? Is Upwork worth it? Is Upwork down? How much does Upwork take? Is Upwork is calm? What is Upwork and how does it work? This is in the United States. But in Nigeria, it is another thing that people are searching. In other words, our problem um, are different. And what we do is that we go to search engine to search for solutions to our problem. So. And uh, uh, yeah, we are writing out to. I mean, people are searching for all the of people that they're searching for what is Upwork. How does Upwork work? Okay, and uh, how to get jobs on Upwork? Does Upwork really work? How many connect do I get on Upwork? You can see what we are searching for in Nigeria. We can still search things that we want to look at job and goals. Like there are blogs that are primarily dedicated to Upwork. Okay, there are blogs that are primarily dedicated to freelancing. Uh, I know a friend who on his blog, uh, Busy Enders, and all the article that is published on this article on his blog, so to say, is on freelancing. You can see Busy Enders starts freelance, whatever, whatever, whatever. All these entire articles. Let me see if I can go through his blog so you can see. Like, so if he's your client, for example, you can see I'll just take a miss sections, Upwork, Fiverr, LinkedIn, and freelancing essential. If it's your client, they will probably just be giving you articles to write on Upwork, best Upwork profile overview, sample for UIUX, best UIUX proposal sample for Upwork, winning Upwork proposal sample for web development or code, how to write a winning Upwork profile overview sample, winning Upwork profile. So this is to tell you that for each of the key results that you have here, they can make up a keyword, how to win job on Upwork and the likes. But then that depends on your on your marketing goal or your brand marketing, uh, your client's marketing goal. Let's say, for example, I want to write an article on how to dance. Or let's say how to win a girl. You know how to win a girl is actually not in a Nigerian like a Nigerian guy will say how to toast a girl. So let's be sincere. I'm not helping myself. So if I'm getting an article now, this is how to win a girl. Wow, 1000 side volumes. Now, note this in your head. I will hopefully this page works. Okay, I'm going to search for how to toast the bill. Because I know Nigerians like, just toast not to. This point is 1.0. Can you see? Like both what are the same thing. As a matter of fact, who is correct? Toast is not correct. Now, this global volume, so in case you probably want to go for global ranking, you can use, um, that's something that I love about 
same value. They occasionally give you idea like that. So this took up 1,000 um, USA tickets, 80 India ticket 20. And then this is EFA, how to cost a girl, Nigeria, 66K. You see, we follow us, Ghana, we all speak this in English in this part of the world. Then now, that is more like, in that situation, maybe I want to get an article on how to post a girl, for example. I know that even though I feel like I start being English, it will shock you that I'm going to write African how to toast a girl because this is what people are using to search for it. You can say how to toast a girl and make her fall in love with you, and African on legit. I am not going to ask you to go and ask legit how much traffic that they are getting with this single post. Now, I will search for posts, okay, so they can the number of things that the keyword appear. It appears, you can see toast a girl face when toasting a girl and the likes. So now let's search for you here. Even this one is that 10 tips to on how to win a girl online and win an app. They basically did not use a single word, but then they created an article, another article on using the word how to win a girl. Now, what made the difference? Let's say it's crazy, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. But then you will notice that when we see put how to toast a girl, there's no US or in you know, a tested country popping up here because then nobody used that word there. But in Nigeria, we use it. And uh, yeah, in the UK, I just think uh, US, India, but nobody uses how to post a girl there. So let's say if you are writing an article like that, for example, you have to do this after you get that. Um, you can use this, this keyword variation, this keyword questions, the one that I did earlier to work keyword questions. So that one is keyword questions are better when you are trying to use it for either or you want to generate topic to write on. But this is the way the real keywords are. Please, you we have to practice this thing, but trust me, you get used to it. Like it's something that you probably get to be doing almost every day or once a week, depending on how much you do SEO content for writing. Now, this is the keyword how to toast a girl, how to toast a girl online, how to toast a girl face to face, uh, face to face. Wow, no clause on six. Now, the point is like each of these keywords, okay, has a serious sense. If you own your personal blog, you can write one, two, three, four, five. How to toast a girl on WhatsApp. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you can write article on these five topics. Boom. You can see like each of these ones are topics on their own. How to toast a girl online message how this example of how to toast a girl so you can just use this one as a sub as a sub header in your article this will be explained when it comes to the real seo analysis and you may have to revisit this video okay so it's not about you maybe it is i don't know but if you in lifestyle niche you will enjoy it so how to toast a girl on phone how to toast a girl social media but people are searching for how to toast a girl on WhatsApp more than how to toast a girl on social media. So as a SEO writer, who already have access to this course, which is much smarter, much smarter or practically smarter to get article on how to toast a girl on Facebook or how to toast a girl on WhatsApp than you writing article on how to toast a girl on social media. You can see. So that's basically how SEO content actually work. Get your keywords, get your search volume right. Don't go and think you over Sabi and go and get out to a girl when your when your country people are searching for how to toast a girl. So remember, when it comes to say we don't assume we use the term that people are using to search for your topic, business, for your service, for anything in the as a primary keyword. We don't tell them that you guys are wrong. While in the process of writing your article, you may probably tell them that oh, even though the proper word is out to a girl, but here in Nigeria we call out to post a girl and then continue with your post. Okay, it is so simple and uh, really, really, really simple. So I think I want to do a magic. I'm going to uh I'll download this. Um I'll download this as so you can download it depending on the method. I prefer using CSV. Um I basically share only this part of my screen earlier before I wanted to show you um when what it looks like after I eventually downloaded it. But then I said if I probably put it on like so if after you download it at your end, you are good to go. Can you do these things on your phone? 
at uh, 30 years, especially with Uber suggest, same rush, it will be kind of a bone, but you can make use of your phone. So guys, I uh, think I've been able to walk you through or to do QR research, or maybe you guys don't mind. Maybe we just put how to toast a girl. Don't worry, in the article, I think I'll just put an article on how to toast a girl. That's that's good that we are using. Or I'll just give an SEO format. So when a client gives you a work and your SEO writer gets your SEO keyword to search for it, you will see different keyword variants. And boom, kill it. So guys, we are going to use our last, I mean, we'll be looking at our last keyword research tool, which is as the public. And, uh, and we're going to have a car, I think, just analyze a few things and then give you an assignment to do. And congratulations, guys. You are a certified SEO content writer.